Today the Lion lithium ion batteries came from uh, UPS. I ordered this last week, middle of last week, it's Monday, and it's already here. Uh, this is just excellent service. I'm not sure if these were directly from the uh, Lion batteries. It looks like it looks like it, it may be. It's um, Lion Energy is a company based in Utah. It's an American company. Uh, I saw these two lithium ion batteries on Costco's website last week. It was kind of a surprise. I really wasn't expecting um, anything to come back uh, before Goal Zero or the Yeti batteries come back, but I was poking around and I happened to find these. It's maybe one complaint I have about Costco's website is it's hard to find all the great stuff they have. I guess it's a little bit like the warehouse where you just you got to look at everything and see what you find. So these are the UT700. I'll put a link in the description. Um, and this is a two-pack. It's cheaper buying two of them through Costco than even buying one of them anywhere else. Uh, some single ones were five, six hundred dollars. Um, the two pack was like seven twenty, I want to say, for two of these lithium ion batteries. The packaging is excellent. There's no dense things. Um, I thought about this and I was thinking that two batteries might be overkill. Why do I need two? I thought about that further, and I've been waiting a long time to get this in the mail, probably five to six weeks now, and. Um, I was thinking about my setup with my e-cooler. So remember I did a review on my e-cooler. So that's primarily what I'm going to be using batteries for. Also, if you remember my other review, we had the Duracell inverter. So the way this is all supposed to work is a solar panel goes through a charge controller, connects to a battery charges the battery, then from the battery it goes to the inverter, and then remember the inverter has three AC outlets and then poles for DC connection. And then from here I can plug in the cooler, uh, my camping lights, phone chargers, speakers, any, um, any electric accessories while being off the grid. So to come back to what I was saying earlier, the two batteries. So I thought about this. I would want one battery to run my electrical components while I'm charging the second battery. So actually having two batteries is a really good solution that I hadn't even anticipated. I was kind of forced into that. And I think it's actually genius. I mean, I don't have an RV or a, uh, a car camping setup, you know, van camping. Uh, so this is just mostly for convenience and it's also good to have power. I mean, you could run a lot of stuff out in the wilderness off of these pretty serious batteries. So I'm gonna open these up. So I got them down to the actual boxes of the batteries. These are uh, 56 amp hours, uh, these, these two lithium ion batteries. and. I mean, one thing on the Costco website, there was a picture that showed their inverter or converter. It didn't come with that. Um, kind of disappointed that the picture on the website showed that and it didn't come with it. Um, I emailed the company and they responded. Um, they're actually, their customer service was great. They got back to me and they gave me some pointers and also uh, communicated with me about my proposed setup. One thing is on their website, they have a beginner solar kit. And honestly, the shipping speed and their customer service, I, I probably would have gone that way had I known about it before I ordered this whole other setup. But the other thing is this is only 400 watts, their inverter. And that Duracell one we reviewed is 3000. So I'll be able to run a lot more things. But for your basic kit, I mean, 400 watts should be perfect. Um, you'll be able to run a small fridge probably and even some of the other chargers or electrical accessories that you have but they do have a really good kit on their website and you can uh, 
I think you can link up to four solar panels and then you can pick which battery you want or you could get it without a battery. So if I don't get this Coleman, so I don't, if I don't get that Coleman solar panel soon, I, I may end up ordering that directly from uh, Lion Energy. Again, uh, that is not available through Costco, only these batteries. And I think they have like a phone, a solar phone charger. So here's the next level of opening. Um, little terminal connectors, silica gel, don't contact the retailer, contact Lion Energy if you have problems. So these are pretty nifty, there's a carry handle. Let me try to get you a better shot. So you can see here the specs, 12 volts, 100 amp. 56 amp hours, 716 watt hours. You can kind of use that to figure out what your use is going to be. So this thing is in great shape. I mean, it's a brand new product. It's not used. No dings. Carry handles. This is about 15 pounds. I mean, it's very easy to move around. Um, easy for women, men. You could. I'll probably build a little box with this um, inverter probably just some plywood or some two by fours I have laying around so I can move it around. The, uh, the inverter probably weighs more than the battery. So what I'm gonna do with this is, for my camping setup, um, I'm gonna use my Duracell battery charger. I also ordered the Tender, but I honestly think the Duracell might be better. I just hope that screen, the Duracell has a screen, the battery tender doesn't. I hope that screen doesn't go out. This also has a five year warranty. It's also four amp like the Duracell. Um, it has a lithium ion phosphate option. So you can use it for your car or for these batteries. So what I'm gonna do for my setup is, I'm gonna charge these two batteries at home before I go off the grid. And then when one of them is discharged, I can charge that one with solar power while I'm using the other one. So theoretically, you know I love to live in the world of theory, I could live continuously with electrical accessories, a cooler and all that stuff off the grid if I have enough solar power. So that will be the next thing to figure out in the kit. So I'm gonna get this linked up, I'm gonna start charging it and we can look at that. So I put the uh, battery connectors to the Duracell on here there's lock washers and washers so they make that easy with that little bit of hardware um, you can see here I got this in uh, lithium lithium ion mode you press and hold that and um, the batteries look like they came charged at 50% from the manufacturer so I'll get both of these charged up we are going on a trip this weekend it doesn't look like I'm gonna have those solar panels but Having these two batteries charged up will run my electrical stuff for our uh, three-day trip. That uh, should be no issue. So anyways, I will keep you guys updated on this build-out. Um, and I'll let you know the performance of these batteries.